The following program is brought to you by Element 14, the electronics community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com slash presents. Hi, and welcome back to The Learning Circuit. Today we're going to learn how a three-way switch circuit works. This idea came from Element 14 community member, DAB. Thanks for the suggestion. A lot of homes have lights or outlets that can be controlled by more than one switch. So you might have one switch on that side of the room and another switch on that side of the room. And if you flip either switch, the light will change. For most light switches, up means on and down means off. It might even say on and off right on the switch. But with lights controlled by more than one switch, Sometimes one of the switches can be down, but the light on. Let's look at why. Each switch is a single pole, double throw switch. This means that the switch can make two different connections, one when it's up and another when it's down. If they were single pole, single throw switches, then the switch would only make contact in one position and be completely disconnected in the other position. Here's a normal light switch. It's a single pole, single throw switch with two contacts. So when the switch is on, the two contacts are internally connected, but when it's off, they're just not connected at all. This paddle switch has three connections and is a single pole double throw switch. Whether it is up or down, this contact is connected to either this contact or this contact. In a three-way switch circuit, when either switch is flipped, the light changes. It doesn't matter if the switch is up or down. I was always confused as to why it was called a three-way switch when there were only two switches. Well, it's because there's really only three positions the switch can be in. Let's take a look. Okay, so we have the power source over here, one switch here, one switch here, and connected to the light over here. If both switches are up in the on position, they're connected through the top wire and the light is on. If either switch is flipped, they're disconnected. One switch connected to the top wire and the one that flipped connected to the bottom. Then if the other switch is flipped, putting both switches in the off position, they're connected again. If the light is off, it doesn't matter which switch is flipped. The circuit will be closed either through the top connection or the bottom one. Okay, let's wire up some switches to see this in action. We'll start by taking a closer look at our switch. Three-way light switches have three contacts, but four screws. This green screw is for a grounding wire. The grounding wire is usually bare copper, but it's not connected to any part of the circuit, so you can just ignore it. We need to find the COM terminal. On switch one, this will act as sort of the IN, and that will be connected to the power source. On the second switch, it'll act as sort of the OUT, and will be connected to the light. The other two screw terminals are the travelers. They're used to connect the switches to each other. Okay, so I wanna take this moment to say, I know I said these switches are for your house, but mains AC can get really dangerous and you don't really wanna mess around with getting shocked or electrocuted. So I would not recommend actually messing with the wiring in your own home. But since these big switches are easier to see than these tiny switches, plus these are way more fun and satisfying to flip, we'll use these for our example circuit. For my light, I'm gonna use this cute little three volt light bulb and socket that I used way back in our cardboard circuits episode. To power the bulb, I'm gonna set my power supply to three volts. Now, I could use batteries, but I don't really wanna waste them. Okay, so first we're going to take a red wire and connect it to the red output of our power supply. The other end is going to the COM terminal of switch one. Next, we'll connect a black wire from the black terminal of the power supply over to one of the terminals on the light bulb screw base. We'll add another wire from the second screw on the light bulb screw base over to the COM terminal of switch two. If we add a jumper between the two comms, then our light switch should turn on once our power supply is on. Okay, so we know our circuit works. Time to make our three-way switch. I'll take a different colored wire and connect the same screw terminals on switch one to switch two. Then I'll take another color wire and connect the remaining matching screw terminals on switches one and two. We'll flip our switches over. Ooh, goodness. <laughs> Turn on our power supply and see. 
So, with both switches in the off position, it's on. With either switch up, but one down, it's off. And with both up, the light is on. Cool, but it always bothers me when I have a switch on, but the light's off, or the switch is off and the light's on. So there's not a perfect solution, but there is a second way of wiring the circuit. You can switch the wires between the travelers so that they crisscross rather than going from same terminal to same terminal. You get the opposite from the way it was before. So if both switches are off, the light is off. With both switches on, the light is off. They're opposite, with one on and one off, the light is on. Let's look at some smaller switches to cover the wiring for use in projects. Here are some single pole double throw or SPDT toggle switches. They look similar to the toggles I used in the Skylight Logic project when we learned about diodes. While those were all single pole double throw switches, they were on off on switches with three positions. For this example, we want on on switches like these. Okay, so like with our light switch, here are our three contacts. Looking at the datasheet, we find the pinout, and that pin two is the COM pin. That leaves pin one and three as our traveler contacts. With switches like these, whichever way the toggle or slider is pushed, the two pins on the opposite side become connected. With the slider pushed this way, these two pins are connected. With the slider pushed this way, these two pins are connected. All right, well, hopefully you have a better understanding of how three-way switches work. Now, there are a lot of different ways that you could use these in projects, but I wanna hear your ideas. How would you, or have you, used a three-way switch in a circuit? Tell me about your projects on the Element 14 community on element14.com forward slash the learning circuit. Happy learning.